Let's do it. This is how you watch C A Z. Hey, this is how you watch C A Z. Hey, keeping the faith in the king. And the patience will give us the strength. Leviticus 19:15. This is uh, the red button. Oh, yeah. Because in order for you, because in order for you, if you all select the people, that's what I'm missing. They trigger messages. Uh huh. To give you a willing and the listening ears to take on to take on that spiritual truth. Okay, you good? Okay. Uh, let me bring this out, brother. I heard you out of respect. I listened to y'all brothers. Now let's show that same respect to your brother up here and listen to me, all right? All right. Now I hear you. I hear you. I understand. I heard you over there. Right. He said, I'm not living a spiritual life. Right. I'm asking to show you that. Show We're going to show you that. Just be patient and listen. Bring right? it on out. I'll, I'll teach the brother. Am I what right? you got? Teach the brother. This is the book of Leviticus, oh. chapter 19. Right. First, hey, brother, listen. you listening? What's your name, King? Kevin. 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 Brother Kevin, listen up. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 15. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor no honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. What the Bible say? But, but, For in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. In righteousness shalt thou, why, why are you cutting me off, brother? In righteousness you shall judge your neighbor. Give me uh, Sirach 1929. We'll show you that. Just relax. They're not even giving respect bro, bro. enough to give somebody to right. They don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You the one that don't want to hear it. You got to relax and listen. Read what you got. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 19, verse 29. A man may be known by his look. What the Bible say? A man may be known by his look. So we out here to judge righteous judgment to our neighbor. Right. The Bible says a man may be known by his look. So we can look at a brother and say, brother, you're not hey, keeping hey. the laws of keeping the fringes. Give me Amos 9 and uh, 7. Amos 9 and 7. You wanted the answer, but you walk away, brother Kevin. I thought you wanted to answer. Hey, answer me this question. You won't even listen. You won't even listen. Read what you got. Then then, Jesus, right here on the cross, died for my sin. He died for the Israelite sin. You are an Israelite, and you have to understand that. Right? Twelve to the twelve. But you gotta listen. Read what you got. This is the book of Amos, chapter nine, verse seven. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? Said the Lord. Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from the Kaphtor and the Syrians from Kir? Uh, Hosea 97. This brother, this brother don't want to listen, so you can't edify a brother that's rebellious. We can come. You won't tell. You won't tell the white man that stole this land not to judge you. You won't tell the white man that locked your people up by the millions not to judge you, but you'll come to your own brothers and tell your brothers not to judge you. We are over here bringing out the understanding to our people. Was that it? Look back. Hosea 97. And you done that. I do not look back. I look at the future. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 9, verse 7. You won't, you won't talk to the white man like that. You won't play the white We ain't playing victim. You playing victim. You playing victim. By you not repenting, you playing the victim. We ain't no victims out here. We standing up for our people out here. We telling our people to repent. Keep God's law. We ain't playing no victim. We standing up as leaders for the nation. That's what we out here to do. We need y'all need to get your minds right. We need to repent, keep God's law. We are here to show you your sin and show you the way to repent. Read what you got. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 9 and verse 7. The days of visitation are come. The days of recompense. The days of visitation has come. Why are we out here? Because the end of the war and destruction is coming to this earth. That's why we out here. And you blacks, Hispanics, and natives need to repent. Quit following your oppressors and come back to the understanding that you are an Israelite. Israel shall know it. 
the prophet is a fool. Israel shall know that these prophets out here teaching you in the church houses, teaching you over here in the church houses are fools. We, the spiritual man is mad. What the Bible say? The spiritual man is mad. What the Bible say? The spiritual man is mad. Kevin said he was spiritual, but he couldn't deal with wisdom and understanding. Right. He is a madman. Kevin is a madman that's not dealing with wisdom and understanding. We got to deal with respect for one another and deal with wisdom and understanding. Right. Now the Bible says, he set us up out here. Give me Jeremiah 1 and 5 now. Bring it out. Because Kevin's issue was, we can't come out here and judge. Why don't you go down to downtown Mesa, go down downtown Mesa and tell the judge he can't judge you. Right. You're not going to do it. Right. You're not going to do it. You gonna tell that white judge that hits the gather, yes sir, I'm gonna pay them fines. Yes sir, I'm gonna do what you said. But when it comes to your brothers teaching you how to repent, teaching you you're the greatest nation on this earth, you don't wanna hear it. You don't wanna hear it. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter one, verse five. Before I found thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth, out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet. He did what? I ordained thee a prophet. That's why we are out here right now, because God has ordained us prophets of the people. To teach you your wicked ways. To show you your sins. Give me uh, Isaiah 49 and 6. You got a problem when your brothers are out here. What you got? It's Oscar. You don't know his nationality. I got you, Oscar. What you got? One second, brother. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. That's why we are out here. To raise up the tribes of Jacob. Hey, hey. To raise up you blacks, Hispanics, and natives that you are the biblical Israelites. That's right. To show your true nationality. That's why we are out here. Isaiah 58 and 1. Bring it out. This is my uh, last scripture. I'm going to uh, answer your question. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. What the Bible say? Cry aloud. We are out here to cry aloud. Read. Spare not. We are sparing not. We do not care about your feelings, your religious beliefs, how you feel. We got to tell you, thus saith the Lord. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. What did God say? Lift up a voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. And we got to show our people their sins. So yes, God has allowed us to come out here and judge his people. That's right. Read uh, Sirach 54 and 24. And hey, brother, get a flyer. We got to clear up the confusion that just happened here. We got to clear up the confusion of a spiritual madman named Kevin that did not want to hear the Bible. Right. Is that Sirach 45? My and goodness. 40. God. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 45, verse 26. God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. What the Bible say? God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. God has given us the wisdom to come out here and judge his people. That's, That's why we are out here. We're not out here to destroy you. We're out here to show you a better way of life, a better way of living. We are telling you, you are the greatest nation on the planet Earth. And we need to repent, come back to God's laws. So we got to show you your sins, show you your wickedness, so you can repent and change. Read. God gives you wisdom in your heart to judge his people in righteousness, that their good things be not abolished. That your good things be not abolished. That way you can bring forth good fruits, meat for repentance. That's right. So you can show God that you love him according to the Bible. That's why we are out here. But y'all won't argue with, with the, uh, the people that set up to rule this land. 
but you're going to argue against your own brother right. to help you come up out of captivity. Right. Y'all need to repent and see value in yourselves. Right. Right. We got that inferiority complex that the only way we want to be judged if it's the white man, if it's the master. That's the only way we'll accept it. Bring it up. You need to repent and reform your mind. Christ is a black man that Bring came to out. judge his people. That's right. The disciples were black men that came to judge the people. That's right. That's why we are out here to judge the people and have you repent from your sins. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.